This is the Horse Radio Network. What a beautiful day for horses in the morning. I am Glenn the Geek. And I'm Coach Jen, and we're coming to you live from the American Equestrian Trade Association Wholesale Show in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And you're listening to Horses in the Morning on the Horse Radio Network for January 30th, 2012, episode 326, sponsored by Omega Alpha. Good morning, Horse World. Well, good morning, everybody. We are here in Philadelphia having a blast. We've been here all weekend, and for the first time coming to this in a long time, we didn't have three feet of snow in the parking lot. It's been beautiful weather, sunny, and no snow around, so that's been lovely. It's just Jennifer and I at the show this time. Helena and uh, Jamie both had other things that they were doing, but uh, Jamie is producing the show back in Phoenix today. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. And she'll be on Facebook, so if you want to chat with her, just hop over to our Horses in the Morning page on Facebook, and she will chat with you there. There was a lot of news over the weekend, and we're not going to be able to get to that today because we have about 15 guests lined up. So we're going to get to that tomorrow. There was a lot of racing news and and other kind of news from the world of dressage and all over the place. So we will get to all of that tomorrow. Jamie's just chomping at the bit to talk about all this stuff. She's twitching out there in Phoenix right now. That's right. Yeah. So she, uh, she'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back live in the studio in Kentucky. We'll make the trip, trip, uh, the trip after the show today. Now, the next one up, I guess the guest here uh, waiting uh, for us to talk to her is Candace, and she is with Action Rider Tech, and she has actually been our neighbor uh, right, right next to us for the whole weekend. Good morning, Candace. Good morning. I'm a little bit closer, about oh, two inches away. Okay. Now, you actually carry products that are that are geared toward many disciplines, but you focus on endurance is one of your big disciplines. Yes, endurance and trail. And we love endurance here uh, on Horses in the Morning. We have endurance riders on all the time. Jennifer would like to get started in endurance at some we'll point here. Someday. So <laughs> tell us why your products are different. We found them fascinating because, because of one reason, and you're going to tell us why. Um, the treeless. <laughs> the treeless part. What is that? <laughs> the fact that she has that she, she has ri- really gorgeous riding helmets important from Italy. And no, also the treeless saddles, saddles which are yeah, no. the most comfortable things I've ever sat in. Yeah, we actually have the world's largest selection of treeless saddles, and they are just wonderful for both the horse and the rider. And we've introduced them into the endurance community. Uh, in particular, the freeform saddles back in 2005, and um, most people just love them. All the horses love them. Well, and and I, they were so com- the riders should love them too because the seats on those things are so comfortable. Yes, they uh, are. I mean, we they sat are. in a number. We sat in the endurance saddle. We sat in the western version of it, which is very comfortable. And why do the endurance riders like the treeless saddle? Well, the, since there's no tree, the horse has such freedom of movement. So they move out much nicer. Uh, the horses are much more comfortable. And, of course, if they're comfortable, they can go longer distance and be much happier. Do you have to pad differently? Do you pad differently? For well, it's saddle? very important the saddle pad that you use when you have a treeless saddle because one of the comments about treeless saddles is how do you provide the uh, freedom from the weight on the, the horse's back, and that's through the pad. The pad lifts the saddle up off the spine. So what, what, what kind of pad? What type of pad? Well, you want to use a pad that has a very narrow center seam built up on either side with inserts. And there are several pads that are made that way. We carry half from Italy. Uh, we have our own Action Rider uh, English Endurance and Western Endurance Trail pad made for us specifically by um, Equipedic. So that's the type of pad. Do they tend and you also want to be breathable. Do they tend to be foam or gel? It's a, most of it is a viscoelastic, which is open cell and very breathable. Okay, so, so it's both. Yeah. So the, you have 
barefoot treeless saddle. We have barefoot, we have ghost, we have torsion, we have a new saddle coming out this month called the Evolution. So several. So each yeah. one, because um, I'm the person who doesn't know a whole bunch about a treeless saddle, I just got to sit them, sit them and went, oh, you can check these out because they're really comfortable. They have panels underneath. Of like some sort. Of, yeah. this, there's a panel right. under there. But then in addition to the panel, you also need a specific style of saddle pad Correct. to make sure you get the optimum fit for your horse. Otherwise, Correct. you're going to kind of um, negate the advantages of right. treeless if and you don't have it on there. Sort of right. bottoming out. Right. So you and don't want to bottom out. And you don't want that. You want to have clear spinal clearance. There we go. Yeah. Important factors in, in yeah. saddlery. I'm going to go sit in some more of those and see if I can't take yeah, one. Yeah, Jennifer's more. been drooling on them. They're pretty much, you have to wipe them off every yeah, time after Jennifer leaves. <laughs> She's been <laughs> drooling on those. What are the price points for, for those? Are they similar to the they, stuff? They really, uh, they run between 600 and $2,000. Oh, so there's a wide range of there's prices. There's a wide yeah. range of prices. So we pretty like much to... the same as any trip yeah, sale. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Except the features. <laughs> Maybe this is the horse husband speaking again who doesn't ride a whole lot. I drive because the seats are cushioned. Um, so, <laughs> They're seat belts. Yeah, that's right. yeah. So now I can ride because the seats are cushioned, mm -hmm. and I, I do like them. Now, the, the helmets, too, are really cool. Yes, we have um, – helmets are so important. Uh, and so we have – you want to have one that's comfortable. It's uh, ventilated because if you're not comfortable in the helmet, you're going to take it off, and you need to keep it on. So yep. we, we import them from Italy. LAS is very, very well known. And it's LAS, right? LAS. 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 And um, they support many of the endurance teams. And in fact, they are the sponsor for the U.S. endurance team. So they're riding in a lot of LAS helmets uh, yeah. across, across Tevis. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. And, and is, where can people find out more about your product? On actionridertack.com. Actionridertack.com. So if you want to check out those treeless saddles, hop on over there. If you're an endurance rider and haven't looked into it yet, uh, you definitely want to check it out. It's the place to go, actionridertack.com. You've been great neighbors, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. It's been fun hearing you. <laughs> oh, yes. They're like, get those get people, those people out of there. They keep moving us every year because nobody wants to be beside us. <laughs> <laughs> they draw your straw straws out of a hat. Yeah. Your turn. <laughs> your turn. You have to be beside them this year. Thank you, Kim. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Thank you, everybody, for listening. We appreciate you joining us here from the American Equestrian Trade Association. I will screw it up. The American Equestrian Trade Association <laughs> show. Here no, Glenn, you, you did screw it up. Yeah. Yeah. We're here at Ada. We're live. Thanks for listening in. We'll be back here tomorrow morning to talk about all the news that's out there in the horse world. And what's Jamie always say when we end the show? Spay, neuter, and geld, people. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's what she says. Oh, you're a killer. Oh, yeah.